Hi Water Sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your the 22nd. This is Sunday, April 22nd. Your daily is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> no, it's funny because uh, my assistant was uh, editing earlier and I said, like, Oh, Sal, they're trying to figure you out. And I was like, <laughs> just laugh. <laughs> Oh, there. let me give you guys a clue, because the water sign keeps trying to figure me out. Okay. Did you know that I'm a Leo? That's why you watch me. Leo. This is Leo energy. <laughs> it's not Scorpio. This is Scorpio. The screen is Leo. Now. What? Is Sal then, and I just laughed because my sister was like, "Sal, there it is," and I was just like laughing. I'm just laughing. That's how complex the zodiac is, guys. If you guys would have a sit down on your chart and understand all the details, you would have more connection on who you are, on what you are, on where you are in your life. Now, that's not me though, because I don't review chart. I review my own chart, you know, so that's why I would suggest you guys consult, you know. I'm a tarot reader, I see this, but an astrologer sees, you know, the different aspects of your life. We can have a little bit of a talk here so that you guys can understand even further. So, with the way that you want, for example, you are in dire okay, connection with your soulmate. This is current. This is what you're really facing. The astrology will give, I, we can see still see like 2018, 2019, we can still see this. But aspect-wise, planet-wise, I mean all, I mean, I, if I can say, you know, I think majority of the readers here in YouTube do have, um, you know, connection to planets. We all react to the planets. Every time we're doing a reading, we react to the planets, okay? So how important right now do you want to invest in your life is how you want to invest with your chart. You got me. All right. So now, how I how do I I'll teach you how? How do I use my chart? Okay. Like what I mentioned, what you're watching is a Leo. What my my craft is a Scorpio. So those are already two zodiac that I embody. Okay. That's one thing, right? And then plus, you know, if this is a Scorpio, then this is hidden. This is the esoteric, right? Okay. This is the eighth house. Okay. Now. My charisma. Oh, Sal is happy. Sal is giggling. Sal is digging. Sagittarian energy. Sagittarian energy. The wisdom decides this. This is this is this is the um you know this is seeing what you cannot see, right? The wisdom that comes. You know the you know the shade that I put. You know the insert that that I put. The laughter and the wisdom that I put in. Jupiter, Sag again, not a Scorpio. Scorpio will never be creative as humorous as this one. Okay. Next, perfection to the aesthetics. Libra, Venus, creation, beauty. Okay, so now, who is Sal? Now, I'm teaching you guys. You have the same chart as I am. Only if you invest in getting to know yourself. So, in reality, this is all zodiacs that you're watching right now. All zodiacs. There you go. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I would suggest, really, guys, you invest in a good astrologer. Now, if you want me to give you who I consult with, I'd be more than happy. I'd be more than happy. Okay, but of course, it's like you know, I'd be more than happy. I'd be more than happy who I consult. Here we go. Let's start. Empress. Venus, I we call the last planet over here. It comes around. This is beauty. You can be beautiful right now, sitting pretty. That's always that's always the Empress card. Creation, amazing energy that the that the Empress has because this is someone, okay, who can give care, give love, create, embody a strong feminine energy, feminine energy. All okay? right, not about sexuality over here. This can be you falling in love for this person. A Taurus energy. Tor the sun is coming to Taurus right now. Or another fire sign. Iris Leo Sag. 
Iris Leo Sag. Fire energy. This is the masculine. I'm feeling that this is the feminine. Regardless of the sexuality, you guys can be you guys can be connected with pretty boy over here, water sign. Trust me, and you're still more masculine. Okay? Because those are energies that we encompass both inside us. That's beside the 12 zodiacs. Imagine that you have the 12 zodiac around you, and then you have now two more energies. That's a lot. This one is the chaser. This one is the sitting pretty. Okay? You got it. Oh, we got twins. Six of swords with the queen of pentacles. Total feminine energy. Caring. Look at that. I told you, this is the caring energy. Six of swords. Someone here can have babies. Someone here can have family. Moving forward to this king of wands. If you don't have family, this person who is caring in nature wants to move forward with the chaser, with the king of wands. This is an action taker. This is someone who's action, like they move with the way the king of wands tell them to move. This is the receiver. Knight of Wands over here. Or we need to get another one because you get twins. Ace of Swords. The king over here is sending a message. Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands. They get the hots for this. Because <laughs> the Knight of Wands is, you know, it's like very phallic and, you know, expressive about their sexuality and they want, you know. But I feel the Empress also has the hots for the king over here. This is flirtatious. Very, very much flirtatious. Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Flirting with the King of Wands energy. The masculine energy. It's almost like someone has found here their perfect aesthetic towards the other perfect aesthetic. A match, basically. Meaning you swipe right. Okay? Gorgeous, gorgeous people over here connecting. Truth is here. Communication. I like you. I see you. You're gorgeous. Six of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles over here. It's like, we can make this work. Let's make this work, this other person is saying with the Six of Swords. The Moon card. I see an energy. Mistress can be. Empress with the Moon card. This is a hidden relationship. Someone here can be a third party. When I say a third party, you probably don't even know that you are the third. King of Wands is a hottie. They're a hottie. Just letting you know. Three of Wands. Another three. Number wise, resonation can be a third party. But this is a, someone also waiting for this person to reveal their emotion. Remember for me, Three of Wands looks and waits for the Sun card. They're not giving the Sun, they're giving the Moon. So they're just gonna keep waiting. You like me, you come towards me more. Express, show, show, show that you want me. Show that you like me. Show that you have interest in me. This is the king. Remember, of course, I told you that they were the chaser, right? But what happens when you start chasing? They stop chasing also. So if you start to show energy towards this person, the runner, or who didn't care before because they were just sitting pretty. What are saying? The Empress was just, I, I'm sitting pretty over here. And they met someone who gave them the attention, who chased them first. Okay, now they stand their ground. Three of Wands. Oh, and don't equate the push and pull. Oh, right away, it's a soulmate. Sometimes it's just playing mind games, all right, guys? Don't even think like every time it's push and pull, it's a soulmate. A chart will show. That's what I can tell you a chart will show. So don't put yourself always in the idea when it's push and pull that it is a soulmate relationship. Sometimes it's just someone pushing you and you're just pulling someone. Plain and simple. You got it. <laughs> All right. So what is that? I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward over here. Um, and soon we'll have more astrology talk that basically that's what I would know and what little knowledge I have, all right? So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.